Welcome to Easy Alim, Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth, and today we are going to be studying from two mathematics. And our topic for today is rotation. Our subtopic is finding the center and the angle of rotation. So our main focus today is when you're given an object and an image and you do not have the center of rotation, nor do you have the angle of rotation, how are you able to get the center and the angle of rotation? Remember, we will be discussing majorly or not on a Cartesian plane. We'll talk about the Cartesian plane later on, that is the x-axis and y-axis plane. But first of all, we'll do just on a plane if you're given an image and an object first. But first, before we begin, uh, we know that a transformation in which a plane figure turns around in a fixed point is referred to as rotation. So there's a specific fixed point at which the specific uh, plane figure is turned around. It can turn around uh, in a certain degree or angle. We are going to look at that in a minute. So a rotation in the clockwise direction. So if you look at like a wall clock, for example, where we have uh, uh, the, 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 the bigger hand moving from 12, to one, to two, to three, in the afternoon, for example. So you notice clockwise, it moves in this direction. Anticlockwise, it moves in the opposite direction. So the rotation in the anticlockwise direction is taken to be positive, whereas the rotation in the clockwise direction is taken to be negative. Normally, it's very quick for students to mistake or misconcept the fact that if it's clockwise it's possible it's positive if it's anti-clockwise it's negative it's the other way around if it's clockwise it means it's going to be a negative rotation if it's anti-clockwise it's positive always remember that so for example a rotation of 90 degrees clockwise is taken to be negative remember we said clockwise is negative while the rotation of the anti-clockwise 90 degrees is taken to be positive 90. so you can see in the questions you can either be specified 90 degrees clockwise or negative 90 or you can be given anti-clockwise 90 degrees or positive 90. so either can come either the word clockwise anti-clockwise then the angle or you're given minus or positive. So if you get that, make sure you're able to distinguish the two. So for a rotation to be completely defined, the center and the angle of rotation must be stated. So you notice, if you are not given, you need to look for them. Most of the, of the cases, you're either looking for the center or the angle of rotation or the image. So it is important for you, if you have an object and you want to get an image after rotation, you need to have the center and the angle of rotation. And that's the reason why that is what you're going to be focusing on today. So for example, if you notice uh, A and A prime, you notice A is rotating anticlockwise to uh, 120 degrees. And if it's anticlockwise, we say it is positive. And then if you look at letter R, it's rotating clockwise and you can see it's clockwise so we will say that it's 90 remember this is 90 so it is negative 90 so we have the center of rotation we have the center of rotation as you can see and the angle of rotation then that helps us to get the image so you'll see even in the situation where you have been given the center of rotation the angle of rotation and the object how do we get the image if it's not in the cartesian plane so let's begin so you are in this case we are looking for the center and the angle of rotation when you're given the object and the image you have not been given any center you have not been given any angle where do you start from so the first thing you notice you have been given a b c d and then we have a prime b prime c d prime and d prime so the first step that we do we draw a line connecting a to a prime first of all so you can see that line use a ruler so I forgot to mention this. Make sure you have your, your mathematical set. That is the uh, protractor, compass, and a ruler. You need them for you to be able to do this question. So I want you to write, draw the diagram. You can draw two diagrams on your paper as we start. You can name them A, B, C, D, the points A, B, C, D, and A prime, B prime, D prime. So you're going to join A and A prime using a ruler, as you can see we have done. The moment you do that, you use now your compass. 
you place your the one one part which is metallic on the a prime and you make an arc as you can see i've done so you make an arc above you want to create a perpendicular bisector so you you make an arc on top of line a b and you make another arc the bottom of line a a a a prime so there is you can see we have two two lines so you can see this um, arc this side and this arc this helps us to divide the line uh, using a perpendicular bisector. So you are going to join these two arcs using a line. That's how we create a perpendicular bisector using a compass and a ruler. All right. So we do the same case with another point. You can pick either B, B prime or C, C prime, but you need at least two points to get the center of rotation. So you can pick whichever you want to use. In this case, we used B and D prime. So you can use B, B prime, C, C prime, D, D prime. So in my case, I used D, D prime. So I joined from point D to D prime using a ruler, do so. And then you can put your um, compass at D prime or your compass at D and make an arc at the top and at the bottom, as you can see. And then you place again your compass at D prime and make an arc crossing on the ones that you've already made at the you've already made at the top and at the bottom as you can see i have done so again we are bisecting the line d d prime using a compass so you're going to join these two arcs using a ruler let's do so so if you join using them using a ruler you will notice the first perpendicular bisector that was bisecting a a prime and B, B prime are going to meet at a certain point. The point at which they are meeting is what we are referring as the center of rotation. Remember I said you can use A, A prime, B, B prime, or B, B prime, C, C prime, or D, D prime, and C, C prime. Either, either two points, if you join them, they are going to give you the center of rotation. The moment we get the center of rotation, you notice what I have done. I, I, I used the center of rotation. And this is not... We made an error there. So this is the center of rotation. So the next thing that you're going to do is pick, for example, B, B prime. So I took a ruler and drew a line from B to the center and B prime to the center. So you can see there's this line from B to the center and center to the B prime. So I'm going to place my protractor. I can place my protractor here so that I can be able to check this line that is B from center to B, it's at which angle. And this is how I did it. So you can see I placed my protractor here. Make sure your protractor is at the center so that you can get the angle. And you notice my angle from B this angle is going to be 170 degrees, as you can see. So that's how you are, you are able to get the center. First of all, we got the center. This is our center of rotation. Next, you're able to get the angle using the uh, protractor. If you place the protractor on the line that you just produced, you're going to get the angle. You can see where our angle lies and it's going to be 170 degrees. So that's how you are able to get the center and the angle of rotation if you are given the image and the object. So this majorly applies or when you are given a question that is not on the Cartesian plane, but the same also applies even if it's on the Cartesian plane. So that brings us to the end. So you have more revision questions on the app on the same. So you can go and check and practice how to draw, uh, how to identify the center and the angle of, of rotation when you're given the image and the object. So uh, see you in the next lesson.